So what exactly is Juneteenth? Juneteenth is a celebration of June 19, 1865, when the enslaved Africans in Texas finally found out about the Emancipation Proclamation. The Emancipation Proclamation signed on January 1st, 1863, a whole two years before Juneteenth, when Abraham Lincoln said that all of the enslaved Africans in the rebel states were now free. Because most of the fighting was going on in the eastern part of the Confederate States, once they finally got to Texas and Galveston, the last major port for the Confederate States of America, it was a big celebration and the last enslaved people in the Confederate States were finally freed. But the thing is, once we actually got free, they didn't really tell us to go anywhere. They said instead of being masters and slaves, now we're going to be employers and employees. But the proclamation was only valid for the rebel states. For example, in Delaware, the enslaved Africans up there, they didn't get free until December 6, 1865, a whole couple months after Juneteenth, because that's when the 13th Amendment was ratified. Since 1866, we've been celebrating Juneteenth with prayer meetings, reading the Emancipation Proclamation, cookouts, baseball games, foot races, all that stuff. In Houston, a few black men came together and put, put together $1,000 to buy Emancipation Park, one of the oldest parts in all of Texas. And they didn't even have enough money to keep it open all year. They just opened it on Juneteenth to have the parade every year. Of course, the first state to make it a state holiday was Texas in 1980, followed by Florida in 1991 and Oklahoma in 1994. As people from Texas moved around the country, more and more Juneteenth celebrations were held. My state of Georgia didn't make it a state holiday until 2011. The first official movement to make Juneteenth a federal holiday started back in 1994, but it wasn't until June 17th of last year, 2021, that President Joe Biden signed it into law as a federal holiday. This is a Juneteenth flag designed by Ben Haith in 1997. Me personally, I'd rather go ahead and go with the RBG flag, the Pan-African flag, because I just don't want to fly red, white, and blue. I don't understand why we would get out the plantation to go and fly their colors. Some people might say that the red, white, and blue is used to signify that we were citizens on Juneteenth, but we didn't even become citizens until July 9th, 1868, a whole three years after Juneteenth. Everybody definitely go find a Juneteenth celebration in your city. Find some black people to spend some money with in Brunswick, Georgia. We're going to be at Selden Park from 12 to 4 on this Saturday.